Hey, what's going on you guys? I'm Flipart and welcome to a very special review and test video. A few weeks ago, I bought a pop filter on Amazon and if you guys want to get the same one that I have that I'm about to show you, there's going to be a link down description below of this video. You guys can go and check it out. Now, my pop filter was about $9 to $10, which is pretty cheap considering a pop filter that I've been trying to check for online with big brand names and things like that can go all the way from $50 to $100 just for a pop filter. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could do a DIY version of it and make it yourself with an embroidery thing here and there and whatever, but I decided to do the easy way out and just get one on Amazon. So this is the one that ended up coming in the mail and it looks pretty much exactly like every other YouTuber's pop filter that I've seen them use in their video. This one in particular is called a pop shield. I don't know. But either way, it's called a pop shield, and on the box it says it's a high quality acoustic filter, prevents pops when recording vocals, adjustable clamps, fixes securely to any mic stand, and a gooseneck for precise positioning. So apparently mine is a pop shield PS1, and there's a PS2 and a PS3. No, that, that wasn't meant to be like a Sony joke or anything like that. But on the back there, if you guys can see that, this is the one that I have. Then there's the PS2 and then the PS3 over here. They're just basically, you know, different kind of mic pop filters that you could have uh, if you were to search those up. So if you're looking for any particular one or if you have these kind of mic setups and things, this would probably help you out. But either way, I basically got myself a pop filter because I found myself listening to my commentaries and things like that. And there's a lot of sounds going on in my commentary so I decided to see if a pop filter would actually fix that and hopefully it does and uh, my commentaries would sound a little bit more clean and crisp as opposed to hearing like random bursts of sounds of things like that so easy enough we can just open this up here just take off this and this is going to be our pop filter so if you guys want to take a closer look this is the thin line of fabric that is just across here. you guys can kind of see my face there and then we got this thing here to hold it all together and then we've got our goose neck thingy here and then our clamp to put on any mic stand all right guys so i finally got my pop filter set up here it's a little bit of a hassle i think maybe something's wrong with this maybe it's a little too heavy or something like that and the clamp is a little bit loose and when i tried to screw it in all together and do whatever i need to do it was just a little bit flimsy here and there but i don't know what i'm really trying to expect out of something i got on amazon for about nine to ten dollars i'm sure if it was a little bit more costly it would have been a lot better but either way Hopefully the actual pop filter with the fabric and everything works out perfectly fine. So we're going to be using a generic line, which is just Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. And we're going to be using that line because it has a lot of peas in it. It has a lot of the popping sounds that are going to be in there. I'm also going to be saying Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon because those also have the peas in there, the popping sounds. And because it's, it's Pikachu, why wouldn't you like Pikachu? So the way I'm going to do my test is I'm going to do one without the pop filter, obviously, and then one with the pop filter saying the lines. And I'm not going to be too close to the microphone or too far away from the microphone. And I'm not going to be like saying things like Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled pepper and I'm trying to make it more pronunciated than it really needs to be. I'm just going to say it very easily and genuinely the way you would normally do it if you're doing a commentary and things like that. And we're going to see how it goes. So this one here is going to be without the pop filter. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon. This is with the pop filter. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon. So now I'm going to go over on Sony Vegas and see how it looks like and show you guys the audio tracks and show you guys what it sounds like again. And then you guys can decide for yourself and then I'll get my final verdict as well. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon. So the final verdict is that the pop filter actually does work very well. As you guys can see between the two audio clips, one is a lot more condensed and a lot more clear. The other one has these massive popping sounds that are in there. So for me to get this pop filter, my commentaries are going to be a little bit more smoother. Of course, my voice isn't going to change, but the certain words that I say, you're not going to have sharp popping sounds in your commentary because I know sometimes it does hurt to hear some of them when you're seeing them really fast or whatever it is like that it does help out and it's going to be a lot more clear and things like that so hopefully this video does help you out if you guys do want to get the same pop filter that I have there's going to be a link down description below you guys can go and get one yourself it was only nine to ten dollars it took about two weeks but if you guys really wanted to get one that's kind of like high end and things like that you can go search on Amazon or go to your local like acoustic stores and things like that see if they have a pop filter it's probably going to be about twenty dollars thirty dollars things like that depends on how much you really want to spend on it but this one nine to ten dollars not that bad still does the job and I'm pretty happy with it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. So later days and peace out.